welcome back to my channel. So today I have another fun glittery look for you guys. I did kind of this uh, green, brown, bluish glittery look. I don't really know what to call it. Um, it almost reminds me of like mermaid colors. So maybe this will be like a mermaid tutorial. I don't know yet. But nonetheless, it is very simple and very easy to achieve, especially if you aren't really good working with glitter. Me, myself, I still have a lot to work on when it comes to glitter. Um, I spill it everywhere, but I did include a, a few little tips when working with glitter in the video and just a couple tools that will make it a little bit easier for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got this mermaid inspired glitter look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so to get started, I am going to just prime my eyelid and I'm going to be using the normal uh, MAC Soft Ochre paint pot. I really do like this because it's like almost skin toned so it cancels out any redness and any discoloration on my eyelids. I do tend to have more like veiny like colored eyelids so this definitely gives me a clean bare canvas to work with and it's also going to make my eyeshadow and glitter stay. So after you blend that in, I'm going to just go ahead and set that with a neutral color. So I'm going to take my Morphe 350 matte palette. I love this palette. It's very nice if you like to just do a lot of matte looks, which I'm obviously, I love doing that. And I like the warm tone color. So I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild flat brush and I'm going to take... This light pinky shade, it's almost like a skin tone shade, or actually it pretty much is a skin tone shade, and I'm just going to set my lid so my eyeshadow will blend more easier. So we're just going to take a fluffy brush, the shade Saddle from that. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to apply it right above the crease. So I'm going to apply it right underneath my brow bone, so like... This is my brow bone right here, which is right here. I'm going to slightly apply it right below in that open space that's right there. Obviously, everybody has different eye shapes, so you're just going to kind of have to find that, that space. You're going to put that color. I'm going to put that warm brown shade right there, and I'm just going to focus it. Um, this does not have to be neat or anything like that because we're going to put another color on top of it. But this is kind of just going to act as a transition. We're going to have a few transition colors though. So that's blended in. I'm going to go in with the shade Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to put that color right in the crease. So the... Saddle color I put above the crease under the eye under the brow bone and fawn I'm going to put it directly into the crease. But I'm really going to make sure that it is blended. Okay. And then our third color I'm going to be using Espresso by MAC and I'm going to take a Thinner brush. Um, this is just an eBay um, 219 brush. With this, I want to gradually build up the color. So I'm going to take just a little bit on my brush um, and tap off the excess. And we're just going to work our way up. Um, at this point, I'm now going to put some tape because I want it to be a little bit more precise. So I'm going to add tape to my outer corner, but I did um, get a little bit off the stickiness. So we're going to go in with that brown and I'm going to put this into the crease and in a back and forth motion like, like so like I'm doing, we're going to just go right back and forth and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit and blend it out. So a little bit above the crease, I'm going to blend that brown out, but I'm not going to take it up too far and we're just going to concentrate this color right into the crease. Make sure when you go towards the front right here, you really want to make sure that's blended out. Okay. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to pick up a little bit more color. 
tap it off and I'm just going to keep getting this part of my eye in the crease. I'm going to keep building it up and I'm just going to make it um, as dark as this side is. So I'm just going to fast forward this and I'm just going to keep repeating those steps. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit. See, it just looks way more smoother. And then I'm going to go back into that brown and just keep repeating that step. I'm going to take um, that blending brush one more time, blend it out just a little bit. And then we're going to move on to glitter, which is my favorite part. I'm so excited about this. So I did pick up a new glitter primer. I noticed in my last tutorial, I used glitter and I used the e.l.f. I think glitter primer. And it just made my glitter look super chunky. And on my eye, I feel like I could have done such a better, um, a better way. It just didn't look... It just didn't come out the way I wanted it to look. So I think it had a lot to do with the glitter primer that I used. So I did buy the NYX glitter primer and I really do like it. I think I am going to invest in the Urban Decay one. It is like $20 and I'm like, well, I don't wear glitter on a daily basis. But just for YouTube purposes, when I do glitter looks, I want my looks to come out um, seamlessly and flawlessly. And I feel like if you want your pictures to come out really good, then you need to make sure that glitter is really in line. Um, but this is a really good glitter primer. I really do like it. Um, and it was only like $7, I think. So I thought that was a really good price. So I'm just taking this flat brush. You can use any flat brush you'd like. Um, and I'm going to actually apply some glitter primer on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply it right into the center all right here. And that's where we're going to put our glitter. So um, I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. And I'm going to bring it up right below the crease because I have hooded eyes so if I put it directly in my crease um, it is not going to look good <laughs> okay so just like that and then I'm taking this glitter it's called dragon scale it's such a beautiful glitter I'm gonna like try to show you guys without dropping it but it is so beautiful so I'm just going to take a little bit and put it in the back of my cap and then I'm going to put this glitter away from me so I don't spill it. So I'm just going to tap the jar to spread out the glitter so that way when I dip my brush in it, it doesn't pick up like a huge chunk. I'm going to use that same exact um, brush that I used to apply the glitter primer. And I'm just going to gently press into that glitter. I'm going to start, when you're applying with glitter, or at least when I apply my glitter, I like to start um, right in the lash line. And then I like to work my way up slowly. That is just personally how I like to apply glitter. But you, you can apply it however it works for you. I really do like this glitter. Um, I got this glitter for only a dollar and this was, this is um, cosmetic grade glitter which is safe for your eyes. I used to use in a few of my glitter tutorials, I used to use um, craft glitter which is so 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 bad for your eyes. Um, I actually had to go back in my video and um, put a disclaimer to use craft glitter at your own risk. But definitely do not risk it. Use appropriate glitter for your eyes. Okay. So after that, I'm going to kind of let that set. I'm not, I don't really want to touch it much because I want the glitter to like set in if that makes sense. So I can now take off my tape. And I'm not going to do any blending yet because as I just said, I want to, um, I want that glitter to just settle on my eye. So I'm going to do some liquid liner. So I'm going to use my um, NYC, 
NYC liquid liner. This is like my holy grail liner and I'm just going to do a wing. I tried to get it as sharp as I could but my husband was in here bothering me so I really couldn't concentrate. So I'm just going to do a quick wing. After I do that, I think that I'm going to touch up this eye because I was looking and I actually put more glitter on this side. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more glitter glue and just get those bald spots filled in. Trust me, you guys literally don't even know the struggle when I have to take... Um, pictures to show the makeup off it's literally so hard because if there is like a blank spot with no glitter my camera picks it up y'all don't even know the struggle so i think we're done with the glitter i'm going to put my cap back on so yeah i have like 13 of these glitters guys and i only got them for a dollar so I will link um, bulk the bulk. I think it's bulkcosmetics.com, but if I if that's wrong, then I'll go ahead and leave the correct link down below. So now we're gonna go in and blend that eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take my espresso from Mac, and I'm gonna take that same little brush that I was using earlier, and I'm just going to very 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 lightly above the glitter. So I'm gonna like stretch my eyes open like this um, because I have hooded eyes, just so I can really get in there. And I'm going to apply some of this brown color, but try not to get near the glitter because as you can see, I have, now have glitter right there, but I mean, you only could do so much. I'm going to do this side too. It's so hard to like blend this crap out. Okay. Do a little bit more brown. This NYX Roll On Shimmer for my inner corner. So I'm going to wet this flat shader brush with my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm going to roll some of this eyeshadow on the back of my hand like this. And pick some up and just put it right into that inner corner. And I'm going to drag it along my lower lash line as well. Kind of going to blend it upward into that green, but not really. Spray my brush one more time. We're going to clean that up later. I mean, it does look kind of insane, but I'm trying to get the most out of this color. These eyeshadows are like really good. These roll on. I was kind of, I actually got them. Um, I got a whole bunch of them for like a dollar. I got some at the dollar store back in Cali and um, I got some more here in Hawaii. They were at Long's. Um, here it's Long's over there in Cali was CVS. But I only got them for a dollar, and I don't even know why these aren't hyped about because they're so good. Now for lashes, I'm using my eBay 014 lashes, so I'm going to put some eyelash glue on these and let them get tacky. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of mascara on. While we're waiting for eyelash to get tacky, I'm going to go ahead and apply this Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Aqua into my waterline. Okay, and while my eyelash is getting a little bit, I'm going to leave it on there because it's not tacky like I want to. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this glitter off, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup, and then I'll come back and we'll finish the eyes.
So I'll be back in one minute. So now that I have finished my whole face, I'm going to apply some of this Mega Length Mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to take Espresso from MAC and I'm going to just go ahead and put this underneath the lash line and smoke it out just a little bit. And on the lips, I have the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. I really do like this. Um, I wish I would have put actually a different one, but I just didn't know which lipstick to choose, so I just put this one, but it will do. And then that is basically your completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and until next time, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Why is, how is that so funny? It's really hard to make a mess. Oh shit. What do you mean it's really hard not? I said it's really hard not to make a mess. No, you did. You said it's really hard to make a mess. Oh shit. Okay, no.